So um, you're going to be joining me at work for a little while until probably about the 13th or so just because that's when I get my uh, gaming stuff back. But until then, I'm still going to give you guys the, um, the inspirations that I've been given. And I got one last night, <laughs> as I was funnily enough, trying to go to sleep. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm going to share with you, hope you guys can hear me, I'm going to share with you what was given to me. I wrote it down, so beg pardon if I'm not looking at the screen. Uh, hey fam, I'm going to tell you the one thing you need to stop doing as a Christian. Stop acting like everything you do for God is because you owe him. His gift was free salvation. All you have to do is believe. If you believe in someone, it's because you trust them. If you trust them, it's because you had the time and experience with them to know they can be trusted. That's what Christianity is all about. A relationship with God. Trust and belief in God also means that you've allowed him to show you that he can be believed in and trusted. That means you've been through some stuff that was meant to break you. And you put your faith directly in God. And he came through every single time. <clears throat> this is where many of us struggle. There's this dumb idea out there that once you're a Christian, it's smooth sailing. And I'm here to tell you that is wrong, okay? It is not smooth sailing. So if you're looking for an easy, you know, easy peasy, I'm not going to be really bothered by much of anything. Come, come on. Christianity is not where you want to be. If Jesus was persecuted and suffered, so will his followers. This world hates us because we escaped punishment. So while we are still in enemy turf and we aren't on friendly turf outside of heaven, we, ha we, all, we will all have struggles. Jesus said to be of good cheer though, because he overcame the world and his victory is our victory. And if you need a little more encouragement, fellow soldier, Remember that the Bible says no weapon formed will prosper. It might show up looking all scary. It might even get a swing in. It might even hit you. And it might hit hard. But it won't succeed in what it was meant to do, which is to destroy you. <clears throat> and this is because of the victory of Jesus Christ on the cross. And if it happens to have been caused by something you did, don't let Satan convince you that God won't forgive you or help you. Please, trust me on this. He will. You are more precious to him than what you've done, and he is always ready and willing to forgive. The righteous man falls down seven times and gets up eight. The person who loves God is righteous in God's eyes. Remember that. That scripture means that God will lift you up even when you think you've screwed up too many times. And all you have to do is come to him, fam. That's it. Say you're sorry. Say, hey, man, I messed up. I know I did something bad and I don't want to do it again. I need you to help me. I need you to, to work in me. He doesn't expect you to be perfect to come to him. You come to him to be perfected. Remember that. It may save you in the future. Trust me when I say that the lies th that the devil is telling you, they all have to do with negative vision of yourself. You are made in the image of God, therefore you are sp special and precious to him. And I want to remind you of something else that I was reminded of myself recently. Did you know that Adam and Eve didn't actually receive the punishment that they deserved? That's right. Did God not say, the day you eat of this fruit, you will die? And yet, they lived. So if God is willing to forego punishment to give them an opportunity to do better, what makes you think that you are so unique that God does not love you that much? 
trust me, my friend, God loves you. And he has a special purpose for your life or you wouldn't be here today. Trust me. Okay? I know. I've been through some stuff myself. And I'm here to encourage you and to keep you going and to keep praying for you. So if there's something you guys need, like you have a prayer request or you need some encouragement or there's something that you are looking for, like you want to know a little more about the struggles that I've been through, believe me, I'm willing to tell you my testimony. But be free to get a hold of me. I am on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. You can get a hold of me there personally. Or if you want to go back and watch some of the videos that I've done, you can look up my YouTube. All of it is under Happy Pika 3432 Okay? Just look for my logo. All right? I am willing to hear from you. And I want to pray for you. I want to make sure that you are making it into heaven with me because that's my goal in all this. This is my mission, is to make sure that I take you with me when I go to heaven. Because I want you to be happy too. <laughs> all right, fam. I got to get going because my client is going to be here soon and I still got to get finish getting ready. So God bless, peace, and be happy. And I will catch you probably not tomorrow, but we'll see. But I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.